To access your network resources via a Windows computer, start by double-clicking on the MyWork Drive client for Windows. If the MyWork Drive client for Windows is not installed on your computer, you can go to MyWorkDrive.com and download it. Or if it's a managed system, you can ask your system administrator to install it for you. When you run the client, it will remember the last server you connected to. And if your system administrator permits saving credentials, it will save your username and password here when you're logging in with traditional username and password. If you've never logged into the MyWork Drive client before, you'll need to type or paste your server name in here. We're going to do that, and this server requires an SSO login. So when I click Connect, it's going to pass me over to Azure AD to complete the sign-in process. Your SSO could be one login or, or Ping Identity or Okta or another SSO. I've logged in before, so it knows me. I'll enter my password and complete any other MFA requirements my organization has, such as an authenticator or a uh, duo push or something of that nature. And once I'm signed in, you'll notice that it loads a number of network drives for me to access my network resources. Let's just start with our network share. Double click as you always would on a network drive and you'll see all of your files and folders are here. You can double click to access them in local applications such as Office or a PDF viewer. You can right click and do operations such as add files or multi-select and zip, that sort of thing. You can drag and drop both in and out. You can drag that file in and it will copy it up to the network. Or we can copy this file down to our local computer if we need to work on it. Now, you don't need to copy the file down to your local computer to work on it. You can simply double click it to edit this file online and it's going or um, in real time. So here we'll make a change to our file. And when we save, it's going to save it right back to the network. No dragging and dropping, no syncing, no copying, nothing we need to do. Simply all done for us. Now, if we were to take a look at some of those other shares we had on our computer, you'd notice this Q drive. And if I click into that, you'll notice this has a restriction on it. This is a share that our administrator has marked as restricted. So we have the uh, we've lost the ability to drag and drop. You'll notice when I attempt to copy, I get that little red arrow. I can't drag in either. And if I right click, I have a limited number of resources. This is a protected share, but I can still double click to do some actions. But what's going to happen is instead of loading in my local computer, it's going to load in a web browser, potentially with a watermark uh, as your administrator is specified. And that'll happen for multiple file types. We can, we did saw that with a PDF. We can load this image. Maybe we're working on a marketing file. We need to view this image of the beach. Um, and if your system administrator permits it, you might be able to edit files in Office Online just by double clicking. Of course, here it's going to prompt me to sign into Office. Since I've already signed in on this computer, it already knows me, so it's just going to complete the process of loading my file for edit. And there you can see the edit we made just a minute ago. We'll go ahead and make another one. And you'll see that it says that as I do it, it reports that it's saving and we can just close this window out and it'll be done. Save back to the network, just like that. So you can access both regular files and restricted files via the My Work Drive Map Drive client, uh, just simply by loading the client and logging in.